Today we're going to look at an integration between Xeno Service Dynamics and the New Relic Software Analytics Tools Suite. We'll do that by installing the LifeRay Content Management System, running on Tomcat and a Mariah database database server, and we will we'll look at how each of the applications have instrumented that system, as well as then creating a defect and seeing how the these disparate systems can be linked together. We'll start in the LifeRay Synthetic Transaction module, which is measuring the response time for the application. It's measuring that from a variety of perspectives, from Washington, from Portland, from Dublin, from locations around the world, so that we can see what the average response time is. Drilling into the Java server, the Java application that's supporting the content management system, we can see the average response time of all of the transactions that make that up, as well as drill down into the response time of the individual transactions. So if we're trying to speed up systems, we can see where we might focus our attention. Both of the servers, the guest operating systems that are supporting this, are instrumented, and we can drill in to the Linux, app, app, Linux operating system itself and get the basic metrics that we expect to see from a, a Linux operating system. CPU, disk I.O., network I.O., identification of the process, the individual processes that are running. Now, it takes more than an operating system in order to run this system. It actually has to run on some infrastructure. Here we're running it on top of VMware and Cisco UCS, and we're using Xenos to extend our view of this application into the infrastructure. On the right-hand side, we see the Mariah database. On the left-hand side, we see the Tomcat app server. Okay. Both of those are running on top of Linux servers. We can drill into one of that, that Mariah database server and find out that it's virtualized on a vSphere virtual machine, as I said earlier. Drill in further and see that there is a data store supporting that, a resource pool, a, a private network, and, of course, an ESX host system. Well, where is that host system running? That host system is running in a particular VMware farm, and it is running on top of a UCS service profile, a logical connection into a, a Cisco UCS blade. So we're looking at all of the components that it takes in a data center in order to run this application. Well, it takes more than what we see here. In fact, if we expand the entire view and show everything, we can see that an IT operations team has to monitor a great number of points in order to keep an application as simple as this one running. Because even things like fans and power supplies can affect the performance of an application. We'll go ahead and stop this application, as I said. Well, we'll break it. We won't completely stop it. What we're going to do is suspend the database server. So our Java application server will still be running, but our database server won't be. That's going to cause us to see errors in a number of places. First of all, over in the New Relic point of view, we start seeing that the synthetic system is reporting that it's now taking a lot longer to load individual pages, probably waiting for database timeouts. And in the application performance server, in the Java server, we see that there's a, a very great number of errors. We see a lot of errors being reported. In fact, it's reporting some, some events. Now, we've, in the integration, on the right-hand side here, we can see the infrastructure that's supporting this linked to the errors from, from New Relic on the left-hand side. So we've brought those two things in together. So we can immediately see up at the top whether there are errors in the application side, errors in the infrastructure side, or in this case, errors in both. Now, the lowest point on this tree is the virtual machine, and we can drill into that. And if we look, we can see the kind of graphs you'd expect, as well as that this VM has been suspended, and that's the root cause of the problem. That's how we can link the view from a New Relic application side, as well as with the Xenos infrastructure side, and provide IT operations teams great tools to fix problems.